Brandon Axmit here in the parking lot at Applebee's in East Columbus. Been reports of potential tornado rotation. That has slowed down, but the wind has not. You can see we're currently in a parking lot where the semi driver has pulled over because the driving conditions are extremely dangerous. Rain is coming down. Power has been reported out in several different places in apartment complex. There have been multiple fires that Columbus Fire and Rescue are currently responding to. Um, a transformer fire at um, Trailer Park H in Columbus as well as out in northern Columbus and Platte County is currently being attended to by Columbus Fire and Rescue. If you look at the trees and the lights, you can see just how strong this wind is coming through and along coupled with the rain, the Columbus area is getting hit extremely hard right now. Uh, goes without saying, pets, keep them inside, yourselves stay inside. Potential hail has been reported on the radar indicator. We're not seeing any, and actually as I speak, we are seeing some hail coming down now, currently coming down about pebble size, hitting us on the windshield. Um, winds reported around 50 miles per hour. That is currently what we have. We're gonna go driving around Columbus and look and try to find some of these transformer fires that emergency responders are currently battling. But again, cannot stress enough, stay inside and stay off the roads if possible. Like you see this semi driver right here pulled over in the Applebee's parking lot at Columbus. Brandon Axman here with News Channel Nebraska. We'll keep you updated on the latest here in Columbus and Platte County. Brandon Axman reporting again in Columbus, Nebraska. Right now at 3181 51st Avenue. We're currently as far as emergency responders will let us go here in the neighborhood. You can see behind me several fire and emergency response vehicles are here. Two power lines are down in the neighborhood. Also multiple trees on fire. Now the storm has pretty much passed through Columbus, but the aftermath has loop power and all emergency responders, Platte County, Columbus Fire and Rescue, and Columbus Police Department running around literally trying to put out fires from transformers to trees. There's been a report over the scanner about a roof that has come off of a house on 7th Street. We're trying to make our way to as many of these locations as possible. Currently on 23rd Street for large sections, the power is completely out. Businesses, restaurants, stores, all power lines and lights. No, no lights on 23rd Street. So a very busy night upcoming for all of our emergency responders and power officials, specifically Loop. Again, currently on 51st Avenue and 31st Street behind us. Power lines down, very dangerous situation. This as far as we can go. Currently neighbors and residents staying inside while the emergency responders do address the current situation. We're going to keep driving around Columbus and finding all these other issues that are going on in the town after this storm has swept through the area. Again, stay inside and stay safe if you're anywhere in the vicinity of a downed power line until the emergency officials get the situation taken care of. I'm Brandon Axmit reporting for Columbus News Team on News Channel Nebraska. Stay with us and we'll keep you updated throughout the night. A severe thunderstorm tore through Columbus Tuesday evening. Wind gusts in excess of 70 and 80 miles per hour wrought havoc on Platte County and surrounding communities as the storm came through from the southwest around 8.30 p.m. and traveled east-northeast. Countless reports of uprooted trees, downed power lines, and transformer fires were reported as emergency response personnel were stretched to the limit responding to the high volume of calls. Large areas of the city were completely without power for long periods of time, including stretches on 23rd Street and 33rd Avenue. Responders with the Columbus Fire and Rescue Department, Columbus Police Department, Platte County Sheriff's Office, Nebraska State Patrol, City Department crews, and power company representatives all worked into the early morning hours dealing with the storm's aftermath. The total extent of the damage is yet to be assessed. I'm Columbus News Team's Brandon Axamit, News Channel Nebraska.